Hey everyone, it's Dan from SideHustleReliance.com. I love making money online and one of my favorite ways to do this is on a platform called Swagbucks. You may be wondering what actually is Swagbucks? Well, it's a get paid to site or a GBT site where you get paid to do some daily activities to achieve a small amount of income. In this video, this will be the ultimate Swagbucks guide for 2023 and it'll showcase how you can use the website and application to its fullest. During this, I'll be discussing the full process I go through and how I make between 100 and 150 Swagbucks per day by not by doing stuff which isn't too stressful, which is a decent amount of money to be fair. Across the last 12 months on Swagbox, I've actually cashed out a total of $990 from the platform, which is massive. So that's why I'm just going to be discussing my tips and tricks to actually get this done. Everything is on my website as well as in the description if you are curious. Anyways, let's actually dive straight into this video for 2023. Firstly, the top link in the description is a sign up link. You get 300 SP bonus when you earn 300 SP in 30 days which is a great way just to get started on the platform. That's three pound in value. So just go on, sign up and get started there. When you first log in, you may be a bit like, oh, what, what am I to do? But I would always suggest heading over to the Swagbucks to-do list. Every day you get given seven tasks to do on the platform. These can be general stuff like completing a daily search, completing the daily poll, completing the deal of the day and things like that really. It's just general stuff you can do on the platform. And it's a good way just to get started. And yeah, you just go into the to-do list and just click through each activity and Swagbucks will mark as completed once you complete that. And yeah, if you complete that enough, you actually earn a certain amount of Swagbucks a day. It's normally between two and 10, depending on the activities and stuff as, as a little bonus. So it does actually add up there. As well as if you do earn a certain amount of Swagbucks across a certain day, you can also get a bonus added on the fifth of every month. And yeah, it's just something else to be aware of. It is a good way to get started and it actually allows you to track your earnings a bit better. And yeah, I always try to complete that every single day. One of the easiest activities you can do on a daily basis is the daily poll. You literally get one SB a day for just completing a poll, literally two clicks, and there you go, that's one SB. You can also actually get paid to actually complete a game on Alu's Revenge up to four times per day, and it's actually earn you 10 swag bucks. This actually changed from last year's guide though. Swagbucks actually incorporated a score limiter into their game, so you have to actually get at least 3,000 points on each game. Then pause the game, exit, wait 15 seconds and repeat four times and you can easily get yourself 10 square bucks. Yeah, they have changed it, but this actually is a faster way than it was previously to actually get 10 square bucks by playing the game. But yeah, just stick with Alu's Revenge and 3000 score and then you sort it there. Next up, if you do actually have a spare Android phone laying around, you can actually put that to work with the site called Playtime Rewards. This is actually an add-on inside of the application for Swagbucks on the Android App Store and pretty much you get paid to play games but you can just like let them run it's totally passive and yeah honestly it's so easy it's not in the office section of the application click playtime rewards or load up then you can download an application and start earning you normally earn between 1 and 30 sb per minute you allow it to run these applications and the best thing is it's totally passive and it's a good way just to get started and get some passive income by using the platform and honestly i can't recommend it enough i've made a lot of money through playtime rewards over the years and I can't not tell people about it because it's so fantastic if you can get it working. Within the Swipers platform, you can actually get paid to use it as a search engine, which is massive. You can get paid three times a day by doing this. It's normally on the 4th, the 21st and the 42nd search like result. And you do this by just using one browser for two times. So I always suggest using Google Chrome for the first two search wins. And then after that, you switch over to a different browser like Edge. And normally you can get between 4SB and 26 per search, depending on what promotions are happening on the site, which is a massive, massive amount. Like imagine if you can make like 75 swag bucks literally by just searching as a search engine. It is huge and it's a good way to get started. Like I said, even if you only to go for the four searches, four searches are easily manageable. And I think it just adds up really quickly. I always try to max it out, but sometimes obviously depending on time, I don't. But yeah, it's there and it is a good option to make some easy money if you are wondering. Another quick thing to add about these search terms, there is certain search terms which do credit quicker and more consistently. I've actually got these listed on my website. It's just something you can just click and go. YouTube doesn't like having these links in the description. That's why I'm putting it on my website. And these do actually increase the chances and the speed of which you would win on the searches, which is, which is great and it does actually add up significantly quicker that way. One of the highest ways to earn on Swagbox is using the gold surveys, but it is very time dependent. I always suggest logging on, just seeing what's there. I only ever would do it surveys which actually pay out highly. So I did a survey a few weeks ago for 250 Swagbox for six minutes. This is very rare, but still if you can get one of those surveys, it is worth doing. Like that's like $25 an hour in value, which is crazy. Uh, I normally ever do the ones which are high in value, normally below seven minutes. Mainly just because it fits my lifestyle a bit better. And even if you do get rejected from these surveys, you do get one SB five times a day. So that's an easy five cents if you can get yourself rejected if you are not in a mood. Or even if you're trying to do a survey and you can't get approved, that's still a reward 
for at least trying. One of the newest ways to earn on Swarbox is something called Today's Top 10. The name's actually quite ironic because it's not actually every day, it's every week at 3pm on a Thursday GMT. The Swarbox Twitter page will actually post a link to the top 10 and that's where you would just compare two different results. It can be on anything, TV shows, films, food, you name it, and you just pick out which one do you think is going to be the most popular ac across the two. And then yeah, you just put your Swarbox email address in, which is normally the, the one you've signed up with. Wait 24 hours and you'll get between 7 and 15 Swarbox credited to your account. And yeah, it's one of those things a lot of people don't realize. And it's just a good way just to be more consistent, get that, those daily results and get that daily income up. Swarbox has slowly been starting to add more daily activities to their site, especially in the UK. And this is in the form of a job search. So this can be found on the homepage in the featured ways to earn. And simply it's just a do a job search every day, click the link, click another link and there you go, you get one Swarbox done. And that actually is a quick way just to tick off that activity on your to-do list as well. And yeah, it's one of those things I always forget to do as well. But I always try to be a bit active there and just log on, get it done, and then it's out of the way. And then that's another daily activity completed on your to-do list to get that close to that bonus. One key thing I want to mention is Swagbox actually recently released a TikTok clone called Swagit. This application is actually designed to allow users to upload content and earn SB from other users. The best thing about Swagit is you can donate one SB five times and you'll get 10 Swagbox back. So you're literally doubling five SB to 10. I actually do upload the content myself under the name Coggin LOL, it's right here. And if you would like to support the channel and donate to me, honestly, it's greatly appreciated. Even if it's just 5SB, you will double that. And yeah, it just shows that what I'm doing is really adding value to people. But at the current time, Swagit is only available in the US. But one of my good friends and fellow creator, Lazy Money UK, has found a way around this. And I've actually got the video linked in the description just so you can get signed up. Again, if you can get some easy swag bucks by using a phone, it's definitely worth doing. So that's why I'm always recommending Swagit as well. And yet it's a good way just to support creators who you actually do enjoy watching. I think it's time for us to talk about swag codes. These are codes which Swagbox offers most days at around 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. And literally you just put in a code. You can actually get started on this by actually downloading the Swagbox extension. For the first time you actually install it, you actually get 100 Swagbox if you use the link in the description as well. And yet all you do is just check if it's available. It'll redirect you to a certain page on the site and you copy and paste the code in. And you'll only get between 2 and 10 SB during the swag, swag code entering stage and yeah it all depends on what promotions are actually on on the site and yeah all you do is just copy paste it in and then you're done and you get some easy money that way it's just good just to be aware of it and it normally pops up on screen here's a little tip for you though if you don't actually have access to a pc all the time you can actually follow an account called swag code spoilers on twitter the name is right here and yeah li literally you can just turn on notifications and then you'll get a notification when a new swag code goes live this will be across every single region which swag codes are supported and it just makes it easier so you don't have to keep your eyes on the, your PC at certain times. And then you can just go to the website, copy it, and then do it that way. And I think that works a lot better, especially when you're out and about with, with friends and family. I think it's time for to actually explore another high earning option on Swagbox, which is the offer panels. So these are lovely tasks which Swagbox allows their partners to provide. The partners are normally Offer Toro, Peanut Labs, Revenue Universe, and many more. And these are just doing general stuff really like playing mobile games, signing up for applications and even taking part in research studies. But the one thing I really want to mention here is the Revenue Universe survey. It's mainly known as CPX Research. So if you go to Revenue Universe, there's normally a little survey there for CPX Research. And these are the, one of the best surveys you can do on the platform if you're not doing gold surveys. They're not always really high in pay, but they are very quick to complete. And even if you do get disqualified, you can get an easy one SB every single time you get disqualified. And that's another quick tick on the to-do list if you are wondering. And yeah, honestly, it's one of those things I always have the gold surveys up and CPX. So I can just alternate between both. And if you do see a good survey on both, you can do them both at the same time. There's no rule against that. Around three weeks of every single month, Swagbox actually offers a Swago or a team challenge. These are pretty much special events that normally happen every so often. And it's a good way just to earn some easy swag bucks. On Swaggo, you would just complete simple tasks like visit certain sites, complete a gold survey and other things like that. Whilst on the team challenge, you would have to work as a team to complete certain challenges on the platform. And this could be like, oh, you have to complete so many offers or you have to complete so many surveys. And then you actually get a rebate, which can range from 300 SB to 25 SB, even if you come last. So it's definitely worth doing like that's just some money which you don't really see, but you actually get benefit from. It's a bit different than what you normally think. Oh, I'm going to earn that because you see the value when you actually cash out and not when you are earning, you know. So, so, so it's a bit different, but it's definitely worth doing. It's definitely not worth missing out on. Swagbox offers something called Magic Receipts, which is some sort of coupon system. I always log in just before I go to the supermarket just to see what's available just on the app. 
and then I just see if there's any good deals on food and produce available. And you normally get a percentage back from Swabbox directly when you just upload the receipts. One thing I actually started to do using Magic Receipts is I've started to buy anything which is 100% free and has a long shelf life. You may be thinking, why though? Mainly to donate to food banks in my local area. Um, I always pay on a cashback card so I always get money back anyway. But I think this way you can actually help out the community. We are in a struggle in time right now and I think it's best just to help out where you can. And yeah, I just try to do everything I can there just to help out my community. And like I said, if I'm gaining it back anyway, I'm not gonna lose any money and I'm gaining money back on my cashback card. Why not stack that and just do a, do something good for the community and that's what I like to do. So yeah, just scan the receipt and then you're done. Anything can range from like 25 SB to 700, depending on what item it is. And yeah, you're actually helping out the community by just donating and that's what I like to do. On Swabbox, even if you are not gaining anything from Magic Receipts though, you can actually upload receipts from a lot of like main retails like Asda and Tesco's. Simply just scan the receipt in the app and you get 2SB for every receipt you submit, which is another two pence back from just shopping generally, which is fantastic. A few years back, Swagbox actually released a game show on their platform called Swagbox Live, where you can win real cash prizes from $500 to $10,000, which is massive really, and it is available globally, which is fantastic. All you need to do is just download the app and then you can get started. But the problem is, is time zones. So obviously since it's hosted in the US, the time zones are very early morning for the UK. So unless you're up at like 1am on a Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, you're not going to be able to take part. But there is times where you can take part. So like I mentioned, there's a show every, I think it's Tuesday 1am, Wednesday 1am, Thursday 1am, Friday 1am. But there's also one Friday at 8pm GMT, which you can take part, which is brilliant. However, you may be thinking, how can you maximise the potential earnings on this? Well, it's best to join the Reddit Swagbooks Discord server. This, this is a Discord server which has been created for Swagbooks users. And there's actually a section called Swagbooks Live. Therefore, you can become part of a syndicate where all the users post the answers to the quizzes and you can just copy what they're posting. And the most I've made from this is 85 swab books during a Tuesday 1am game. I would just finish work and I just was like, I'm going to go and do it. So I went on and logged on and I got it done and a quick 85 SB for doing that. Although swab books is a really good platform, there is other ones out there. One of which is the data sharing applications. There's a wide range of them. Uh, these include things like Honey Gain, PH Profit, and InnerNap. All you simply have to do is click the links in the description and it'll redirect you to the site where you sign up, download the applications onto your computer or phone, and then you just leave it running passively. That's literally how it works. I've left all links in the description to this, and it's a good way just to make some additional money alongside Swagbox, because if you're gonna be on the computer doing these anyway, you might as well make some passive income on the side. And a lot of these platforms do actually cash out to PayPal and other different currencies there. And yeah, honestly, I can't recommend these data sharing applications enough. I've used them for many years now. And yeah, it just works so well when I'm doing other things on my PC on the side and it just adds up so quickly. Now that we've done discussing the ways to earn, I think it's time to talk about withdrawing on the platform. So once you hit 1,000 square books, you can actually start with thinking about withdrawing. I would always suggest cashing out 10 pound PayPal for 1,000 SB. Pretty much you're getting actual cash then, which you can use at any retail you want. And yeah, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so one swag book is 1p so why not just go for that and yeah obviously these are changing quite a bit but that's the currently the best rate there it's a one-to-one -one ratio to conclude swagbox is a great earner and you can earn a large amount of money if you stay focused on the ultimate swagbox guide of 2023 i can't recommend it enough i love using the platform and i've used it for many years now and i've not had any issues with it anyways thank you so much for watching this video please like and subscribe on screen right now is two different videos one is my ultimate phone farming guide for 2023 as well as a full setup guide for big rewards these are two fantastic platforms and honestly i've made quite a large amount of money from using these platforms yes so, so those videos are right here thank you so much for watching this video take care and i hope you have a great year